I just got out of the shower and I noticed that I had quite a bit of light colored blood marks on my underwear. It was like patches. I guess I bled or spotted quite a bit and I didn't realize it. Luckily I was at home. Technically it is the 26th of December and I haven't gotten to sleep yet so I'm still kind of counting this as Christmas Day. The Luma Unique Cup was in the bathroom so I went ahead and used that. But for this period I am going to try the Kila Cup and also the Selena Cup from Austria. Um, I meant to try out the Selena Cup during my last period but I didn't have time because I was just spotting most of that period so I'm gonna try these two and tell you how it goes. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So tomorrow I will be inserting the Kila cup, probably the smaller size first. If I end up being a little heavier when I remove the Unique in the morning, I may grab for the large cup. So I did back this cup on Kickstarter. I have the blue set. That's all for tonight. Uh, I didn't check my Clue app. I wasn't expecting my period yet, but I guess I'm gonna start and we'll see how it goes. Talk to you tomorrow. All day I used this small Kila cup and uh, it was really easy to insert. Uh, it popped open on its own. I didn't have to coax it to open. So that's a really good thing. However, I couldn't seem to get the cup to move up anymore. The stem, let me get the cup. So here's my large Kila cup and you can see that there's a area on the inside um, and this is actually part of the stem. So here is the stem ring that is on the bottom of the cup and when you pull that, the stem gets longer on the outside and on the inside it pulls the uh, rim down into the cup so that it breaks the seal or the suction. Even though this is soft and flexible, I feel like it's getting in the way of being able to position correctly around my cervix. My cervix is in the way from allowing the cup to sit up right up around it. Um, and so I'm not really getting a good seal with it. It's also sitting lower in the vaginal canal than I would normally like it to be. And I did check my cervix, it is on the higher side. So a shorter cup would normally ride up and sit a little higher for me. Since I'm not getting a good seal, uh, when I insert my finger to make sure that the rim was open, that my cervix is right above or inside of the cup, I can kind of move the cup freely. So if it was inside of me, I can kind of just rock it back and forth. Whereas if a cup has a good seal for me, I could move the body, but I could feel that the uh, rim is secure. And throughout the whole day, since I'm still a little sick, every single time I cough, I could feel air being displaced out of the cup. And that's really irritating because I feel like I might leak. My period is still pretty light, more than spotting. And I had about this much blood in my small Kila cup, so uh, maybe I will be able to use a larger cup during this period. When I got out of the shower tonight, I went ahead and put the small Kila cup back in. Since the cup didn't really create a seal for me, I didn't use the stem to uh, release the suction. I was able to just kind of nudge the cup down and pull it out like I would regularly. Anyhow, that's all I have for tonight. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. It's Thursday, December 27th, and I used the Kila cup overnight. Uh, this morning when I got out of bed, I started to cough. I felt kind of a burp from my Kila cup and then a warm gush of wetness. So I went into the bathroom and uh, I wanted to make sure that I did try the stem. And so I located the ring of the stem and tried to pull it down. Well, the ring on the stem is quite thin and stretchy, so it did take a bit for me to be able to reach the base of the cup. When I reached the end of the stretchiness, the stem pulled down just a bit, but I felt this twinge of pain. The pain was kind of like when you get a pap smear, 
And they use the Cyto brush, the one that looks like a mascara brush, to get samples from just inside of your cervix. So of course I stopped. I went a little slower to try to get the stem to pull out and collapse that rim. And now the cup really didn't have a strong suction to begin with, but it seems like when I pulled that stem down, it did create a bit of a suction. Since my cervix was a little higher and so was the cup, I got off the toilet and squatted down so that I could have a better reach. But every time I pulled the stem, I got that little twinge of pain. I ended up saying screw the stem and bared down so that I could reach the base of the cup and then removed it as normal. I also noticed that there wasn't hardly any blood in the cup. It wasn't even half full. So even though I checked it when I inserted the cup that my cervix was positioned correctly, I still ended up leaking somehow. Although I'm not really bleeding a whole bunch, I might just end up switching over to the large just for an easier reach. If anything changes, I'll update you later today, but if not, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I wasn't feeling too good yesterday, which was Friday. I went ahead and just skipped over my video, so uh, here's my update for yesterday. First thing yesterday morning, I removed my unique menstrual disc and I inserted the large Kila cup. I'm still not getting any kind of a suction with it. So every time I move or bear down, cough, laugh, it makes this like gurgling or burping sound and I can feel air come out. And sometimes I can also feel blood uh, get gushed out. So I ended up having to use a backup pad. I used my Soch pads and also some of my Amila pads. By two o'clock, I started cramping quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure if it was because of the cup or just because I had my period. Around six o'clock, I started to think maybe I should just remove the cup. I continued to cramp and I continued to leak. Three more hours went by and I finally went ahead and removed the Kila cup because I just had this big gush of blood. I went to remove the pad and there was a lot of blood on it, but when I tried to remove the cup, again, there's not really a seal, but if I pull on the stem, even if it doesn't come out all the way, it still kind of sucks the air, you know, uh, expands that and uh, suctions uh, on or around my cervix when it's supposed to actually help remove that suction. But when I actually removed the cup, there was hardly any blood in it. So I don't know where the blood is leaking from. Because of that twinge of pain that I've been experiencing, I can only pull the stem out about this much and that's about halfway. But if I turn it to show the inside of the cup, you can see that the rim is still not collapsed. I know that I've only worn this cup for a few days, uh, but I think I'm just gonna move on and use my Selena cups. Uh, I did insert the large Selena cup in the regular firmness this morning, and I did have a little bit of trouble getting it to pop open. There's only two holes and the holes are very small, so it didn't wanna just open really easily for me. I did have to remove the cup and then I folded into a C fold, having the hole inside of the fold, and then pressed the whole cup to my vaginal wall and allowed it to open up against my finger. Once I did that, it popped open just fine, and so far I haven't had any cramps or leaking. That's all for now. If I have anything to update, I will later. Uh, it is Saturday. I'm not really doing anything besides working at home, and I guess I will see you tomorrow. See ya. My period is on the heavier side. I did remove the Selena last night when I was in the shower and it was pretty full, but I did wear it to bed last night. It does create a, a more of a suction or a seal for me. I was able to pinch the base and wiggle it free without any pain. And I wore it all day today and I was out all day from this morning. I started to feel that gurgling, burping inside that blood is displacing the air and I knew that I needed to empty my cup. And I was at Home Depot, so I kind of really didn't want to uh, empty my cup there. And I stopped at home to empty it, so it was full. And then I inserted it back and I was gone again. It's after midnight, I just got home um, and I'm about to go take a shower, but I can feel the cup 
starting to burp and gurgle. So tomorrow, well, actually, it's already past midnight. Today is December 31st, and I'm going to be gone all day. So um, I don't think I'm going to do an update tomorrow. And I hope that you all had, I'm going to say had, because by the time I upload this, it'll be next year. Um, I hope you all had a very happy new year. Happy New Year! It is uh, January 1st, 2019. My period was on the heavier side, so I wanted to have something that was gonna hold me over while I was out. I was comfortable with the Selena during the day. I did uh, sleep with it the night before. Since I was going to be very busy and out most of the day, I did want to use something that was gonna hold me over and I wouldn't have to worry about emptying my cup. Uh, my period was on the heavier side. And while the Selena was comfortable for me, it didn't have the capacity that I wanted. So I did end up using the Marula XL and that is what, 50 milliliters? And when I got home after midnight, it was a little more than halfway full. So my period's still going pretty strong. I did change over to the Luma when I went to bed. Uh, and today, I am back to the Selena, so I do want to use the Selena the rest of my period. I hope you guys had fun last night. I hope you guys were safe last night. Um, and I will see you tomorrow, I guess, since my period's still going. My last entry was on January 1st, and uh, prior to that, I had mentioned that the batteries in my mic were dying out. And I guess it finally died out because this whole segment has no audio. So here I am going to voice over. On the first and the second, I used the Selena cup and my period was still heavy. Overnight, I swapped over to the my cup in the large size. I was having a little bit of irritation from the ring stem just at the opening of my vagina. So I used that all day, actually on Thursday the 3rd, and also overnight till Friday morning. Friday morning, I didn't have a whole bunch of blood in my cup, so I swapped back over to the Selena. That night, I swapped over to the Luma Unique, and then Saturday the 5th, I used the Selena again. And that day, my period got a little bit heavier again. On Sunday the 6th, my period did lighten up a little bit, and I was out running around all day, so I did end up using the My Cup. Monday morning, I woke up. There was a little bit of spotting in my cup, but I didn't count that as a period, so I didn't use a cup, and I didn't have any more blood the rest of the day, so that was the end of my period. I guess it was kind of a good thing that the batteries in the mic died out because this has been a really long video already, as well as a long period. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and pan over my notes on my calendar. And uh, I did start on Christmas or overnight on Christmas and you can see all of my drawings and the cups that I used, how heavy I was, um, which days I wore what cup and, and what not. So that was December and here is January. Let me know in the comments below if you keep any kind of a log like this. I know that people use apps and I actually use the Clue app, but uh, now that I'm vlogging my period, um, I like to have all of these little notes so that I can look at them and be able to talk about them or if I missed a day like I did miss several days of vlogging and then my battery dying, uh, I'm able to go back and look at this and see the notes that I took. Let me know in the comments below if you do anything like this or if you just use an app. Until I see you next time, take care.